broadcasting from the Toy Barn Studios. This is your flagship station for the Buckeyes. Sports Radio 97.1 The Fan. And now your daily dose of the latest on the scarlet and gray. Sponsored by Huntington Bank. This is the Big Show's Buckeye Bulletin. Big Show Buckeye Bulletin. We go right away to 11 Warriors recruiting analyst Alex Gleitman. Alex, let's start with Friday Night Lights, my friend. Can you tell us what it is, what we're going to get tonight at Ohio Stadium? Yes, definitely. Uh, Friday Night Lights was the brainchild of Urban Meyer uh, when he was at the University of Florida, and it was the first camp of its type in major college football. Um, you know, he did something similar when he was at Bowling Green in Utah, but, you know, high-level BCS football, it was kind of new. Uh, he brought it to the table in Florida, and now schools all across the country are doing it. Basically, it's, you know, your normal uh, football summer camp, but the difference is it's held, obviously, tonight, Friday night, in the horseshoe under the lights where normally camps are held at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. There's, you know, music blaring from the speakers and highlights running all over the video board. Uh, some of the top talent in the country recruits from all over, seniors and juniors, they come, they compete, one-on-one -on -one drills. Uh, you know, speed and conditioning drills, all that. Uh, it's open to the public, which is, is actually kind of a first. So, you know, anyone can go down to the horseshoe. Gates open at around 5.30 tonight, and they can take in the atmosphere and really see what Urban Meyer, Mark Cantoni, and some of those guys are doing to recruit, you know, the next players to become Buckeyes. Alex, uh, tell the people out there who we may see. Who are the diamonds that are coming in to uh, partake in this and some of the big recruits that we have our eye on? Yeah, definitely. Well, the interesting thing is the way recruiting is going nowadays. Uh, you know, your kind of class that are going to be the rising seniors, that class of 2013 this year, it's almost wrapped up at this point in the summer. So this camp is almost more so to kind of lure the top rising juniors uh, to come check out Ohio State. But starting with some 2013 targets, um, you got some big ones in the in current commits and Joey Bosa, Tracy Sprinkle, Billy Price, Darren Lee, and. Uh, Johnny Towson, the punter down from Florida, but kind of guys who are uncommitted, those, those commits are going to try to sway to come to the Buckeyes. You got Shelton Gibson and Devin Allen, two very good wide receivers. Uh, Donovan Munger from Shaker Heights, a two-way lineman, is coming down. Um, Christopher Worley from Glenville, he's kind of a safety linebacker hybrid who will probably play the star at Ohio State if he chooses to come here. And, and kind of the bigger one is, is Tyquan Lewis. He's a defensive end, outside linebacker. He'll probably play that Viper position that Bobby Carpenter played at Ohio State if he chooses to come here. It's down to UNC, Ohio State, and LSU. He's bringing his mother up. It's the second trip of the summer. And he's definitely someone to look out for. Um, on top of that, there's really uh, a whole slew of 2014 targets coming in, some really good quarterbacks and wide receivers, some big-time offensive linemen. But the two prize uh, recruits coming in are, are linebackers. Uh, Clifton Garrett from Plainfield, Illinois and Raekwon McMillan from down in Georgia. Uh, those are two big names, along with Devontae James from Springfield, Ohio. Alex Gleitman, 11warriors.com, joining us, the recruiting analyst for them. Alex, what's left of this recruiting class for Meyer? He's got 14 commitments. Am I right on that at this point, 13 or 14? How many more is he looking to bring in, and how many of these guys could be the guys that fill those empty slots? Yeah, he actually has uh, 15 recruits right now. Um, so you're working with with five spots left um, it is kind of the speculation right now. Technically, there's only one, but, but people are, are thinking this class is going to probably number around 20. Um, you're probably looking at at least one more wide receiver, probably two linebackers, uh, an offensive lineman, and then maybe you save a spot for a super prospect like a guy like Von Bell, uh, a safety from down in Georgia. But um, as I said, Tyquan Lewis is definitely a guy – uh, to look at on um, uh, Commit Watch, as well as uh, Christopher Worley and Shelton Gibson. Um, but I think, you know, you got Mike Mitchell, a guy who you know, a lot of hoopla from him out of the opening a few weeks ago, uh, you know, put up a, a 40 time, I think it was 4 uh, at the Spark Combine in, in, out in Oregon. Uh, he's a guy who might commit this weekend at the Gridiron Kings. And then uh, Dennis Finley is, a, is an offensive lineman from Detroit Cast Tech. He might be coming down tonight for Friday Night Lights as well. He's probably the number one target on the offensive line board that's still uncommitted. So those are those are probably your main guys you're looking at. There's obviously a couple of other guys on their recruiting board, but right now you're probably looking at about five more commits in this class. Alex Gleitman, 11warriors.com. Thanks for the time, buddy. Good information. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Alex. Good job.